Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to make a very quick introduction uh, about Scilab uh, software. Scilab is a programming software similar to MATLAB. Um, however, Scilab is an open source software. Uh, you can read more about it and even download it uh, from their website in the description of this video. Um, and in this video, I'm just going to make a, a very quick uh, introduction and uh, how to navigate uh, the environment of Scilab uh, in order to uh, pave the way for my next video which is how to plot uh, data in Scilab. Uh, so I just downloaded uh, Scilab and here is the environment, the default environment. As you can see it's divided into four sections. You have the file browsers here, console, the variable browsers and the command history. Uh, that's just to store your command. You can see that my previous command just to clean the screen and opening the software. Um, in uh, this software, of course, as you're familiar with, the console when you're going to be adding the variables or writing the vectors. For example, here is a variable x equals 3. And you can see here in the variable browser x is listed. And then y equals Six and then z equal five multiplied x plus y and so on. So it's the normal um, MATLAB language. So you're familiar yourself with MATLAB. It's uh, really similar to, to to MATLAB. And here is the um, all all the variables will be listed here, and all your command, as you can see, will be in the command history. Now there are some extra applications here. If you click on application, you can find the sign notes. Or if also if you clicked on this um, on this icon here, it's launch sign note. So sign note is similar to the M file that you are familiar with MATLAB. That's mean if you wrote um, uh, t equal five um, u equal 8 it is not gonna uh, execute till you actually uh, and then you have g equals t plus u till you actually run and execute this and then he's gonna ask you to save and then we're gonna save and then as you can see in the variable browsers it's created g u and t and so on so this is the sign note which is similar to the M note you are familiar with in uh, MATLAB. Uh, other things in the application, uh, the Xcos, uh, which is uh, the graphical editor to design dynamic systems. Here is the Xcos, where the uh, designing uh, dynamic system, when you can um, design, load, uh, save, and simulate. Uh, different dynamic system. Also you have the module manager atoms. A click in here will make uh, a full list of uh, packages of external modules if you want to extend your Scilab uh, in order to make it do more like the GUI, the graphical user interface and so on. It's all listed here as an extra module that you can install really straightforward just to install on your um, on your Scilab in order to extend uh, this software. Um, so this is, of course, this is the control and uh, the resume and report uh, the the orders and just the, a normal editing so uh, uh, menu and a normal uh, file menu. So this is a very quick introduction for the um, Scilab and the introduction uh, and the environment of, of this software. Um, thanks for watching.